No ordinary human could ever perform the kinds of devastating attacks that the characters of the Dragon Ball Z universe regularly pull off. But even for Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and the rest of the gang, such skills take dedication, training, and a great deal of energy and effort. In Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi, however, combat requires so little effort on your part that despite the explosive display of power and fighting skill happening on screen, it's hard to care about what's taking place. Ultimate Tenkaichi is all spectacle and no substance. Battles in this fighting game pit characters against each other in three-dimensional environments. When close to your opponent, you can dish out a flurry of melee attacks by tapping a button repeatedly, or press another button for a slower, more powerful attack. If you land a string of attacks, the action stops for what is called an attack clash. At this point, each character selects one of two options. If they choose different options, the attacker wins, dealing damage and potentially sending his or her foe soaring through the air, giving the attacker the opportunity to keep a chain of attacks going. If the defender chooses the same option as the attacker, he or she breaks the attacker's combo and performs a counterattack. There's no sense of timing or skill involved in unleashing the chain of attacks that triggers the clash. The stops the clashes cause interrupt the flow of battle, and the continued success or failure of your attacks comes down to a 50-50 chance rather than to any actual prowess on your part. It's a shallow and uninvolving melee combat system. Ranged combat is equally shallow. Landing a string of key blasts triggers an attack clash, and once again, both you and the recipient of your blows choose from one of two options. <laughs> Performing the dramatic signature moves of these characters is even less exciting than everything else about the combat. When one combatant's health is running low, the fighters gain access to their spirit gauges. At this point, Firing off a Gallic gun, a spirit bomb, or any other super attack is done with a press of the right thumbstick. The visuals that accompany these attacks are appropriately intense, but the simplicity with which they're performed makes them unsatisfying and anticlimactic. There are a number of ways to experience the shallow combat of Ultimate Tenkaichi. Story Mode has you playing through a series of battles based on events from the anime. Sometimes the story is advanced by cutscenes, but far more often, all you get is a wall of text summarizing events. In addition to the standard battles, Story Mode has chase battles, which are boring sequences in which you just move your character around to either shake off a pursuer or to catch up with someone you're pursuing. But the worst aspect of Story Mode is the boss battles against massive enemies. These towering opponents repeat the same simple attacks over and over again as you dodge them and chip away at their health. Eventually, you must complete a quick time event to win. A delay between the moment you press the button and the moment it's registered makes some of these needlessly tricky, and if you fail, the amount of damage you sustain is so huge that one or two mistakes are enough to finish you off and force you to repeat the entire tedious process from the beginning. Such boss battles also appear in Ultimate Tenkaichi's Hero Mode. Here, you create a character from a very limited number of options and make a name for yourself in a parallel version of the DBZ universe. The idea of creating your own character whose skills increase as you progress is an interesting one, but because the underlying combat mechanics are so shallow, there's no rewarding sense of growth to be had. That shallowness also saps the fun out of online combat. Human opponents are more unpredictable and more fun to fight than AI combatants, but Ultimate Tenkaichi's focus on mashing buttons and winning games of chance over skill and technique makes it a dull fighting game, regardless of whether your opponent is human or artificial. The combat captures the intense look of the anime it's based on, and that's about all it does. If you're looking for an engaging Dragon Ball Z experience, you're much better off watching that anime than playing this game. Don't pretend. 
You know I'm vastly more powerful than I used to be, and you're very afraid. You underestimate me, Vegeta. Th this is bad. Just go down already. 